Hi, my name is Willux, and this is episode four of Stoneblock. Today we're just going to spend most of our time on breeding chickens using the uh, roost mod to do that. We're going to, in the very beginning, set up a little bit of wireless recharging with flux networks. We're going to make some obsidian armor that's better than diamond. And I'm going to show you how to repair stuff with lava in the, uh, at the end. So first off, let's cover at things that I did in between episodes. Main one here is I made an atomic reconstructor off uh, camera. I've made that lots of times. You guys have seen me how. And I made a lens of color, which is basically a regular lens. Toss it in front, hit the button once, and you get a lens of color. What you do with a lens of color is you top down any dye. Bone meal is considered a white dye. Hit the button, and that turns it into black. Now, if we toss it down again, we've got red, then green, then lapis. And it runs through all the different colors. And uh, that's how I get my dyes that I'm going to be using in this. Oh, the other thing, I made two more of these. This is the one from before, which is the cloches. This one is going to be for the chickens. And I put a smeltery in another one of them. Uh, I understand that the lighting on that can cause some lag. I'm really not sure that I buy into that, but I've been told that by so many people that know what they're talking about that I have to believe them. Okay, flex networks. The basics of it is flux which is made by cooking redstone. So I made up all the flux, put it with some ender eyes, some obsidian, and you make flux cores. I've already made a bunch of these. I'm just making the last two sets for you. Put them in here, and that gets you flux blocks. Then we take the flux blocks. There's already three of them in there. Put them like that with a flux core. And we got a flex controller. This is the brains of the operation. Then to put power into this network, because this is basically a wireless energy network, right? But to put it in, we've got to use a flex plug. And that's pretty straightforward. So we can sort of plop this down anywhere. And let's go to setting it up. Please select a network. Well, to set up a network, you go, see the plus sign over here? Create network. And we'll call it Willux's network. Oh, and I'm gonna switch it from Forge Energy to Redstone Flux. Great. So now we've got Willux's network. Configure wireless. Don't, don't need to worry about that. This is fine. Well, we'll click off those two. These are all the slots in your inventory that it can do. So, if, for instance, if you didn't want it to do your inventory, just your hotbar, you'd unclick that one, etc. Or you didn't want it charging your armor or charging your baubles or something. Okay, that's pretty much. Oh, wireless charging. We got to enable that. And I think that's the settings for this thing. I, I'm not giving a full explanation on flex networks. I'm just showing you how to set it up to do wireless charging for right now for the things in your inventory. Now I set up some uh, batteries here and uh, the way these are set up is this is feeding into the north. North is that way. So the, it's feeding into that one. This one's here feeding into the south, so it's feeding into that one. They're all feeding into that one. And there's another set of these things up in the top in the ceiling that you can't see. Now, I told Squirtle in the um, comments that I wasn't going to spam these things. This is just temporary. Honest. I'm not planning on spamming them. But we'll put our uh, flex plug in there. And then we'll configure it. Does it need any configuring? Oh, it needs the network. Put it on my network. 
And I think that's the setup for that. Now, speaking of comments, I would not have known what to do on this episode nearly as well, except for all the comments. I got piles and piles of good suggestions. A lot of them were repeats, though, so I'm not going to comment for any one or name any one individual when like six people all said the same thing. Um, use the acceleration wand, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But they were great advice, and this episode wouldn't have been nearly as good without your help. So thank to, thank you to all of you. All right, so let's get. Uh, before I forget, I'm going to need a little bit of ender conduit. I've been getting pulsating iron from the loot bags. Once you start making conduit binder, you can uh, you might as well make a bunch. Okay, so to get started on breeding chickens, if we're going to be using roost, you need to make yourself a chicken stick. This thing is an egg stick and feathers. Then what you do with it, let's grab some normal chickens. I'll actually use it for something right now. So you take a normal chicken on the ground. I'm going to click it with a book. That makes it a smart chicken. And if I hit it with my chicken stick, see it drops a little chicken I can run over and pick up. Let's do that again. Click it with that. And now I can pick it up. And one more time. Click with the book. Let's right click with the book and click with my chicken stick. I can't help but say this right now. The whole time I've been making, preparing for this video, I keep having this song run through my brain every time I think chicken stick. And it's the ear, Ian Drury and the Blockheads, the hit me with your rhythm stick, hit me, hit me, hit me slowly, hit me quick, hit me, hit me, hit me. And I just can't get out of my head. It keeps running through my head. It's not even the same word. It's a rhythm stick, not a chicken stick. But it's stuck in there. And now it's probably stuck in, if you know the song, it's probably stuck in your brain. You can either thank me or hate me in the comments. Feel free either way. But anyways, getting back to, <laughs> getting back to this. So... The basics of the mod are you can put these chickens into roosts and all their droppings will end up in there. And that's just hay bales, which are easy stuff, and planks. And I'm going to make 42 of those. Then for breeding purposes, I'm going to use their chicken breeder. Exact same recipe as before, but it's got some seeds in the center. And I'm going to make 50 of these. You don't have to make these exact numbers. That's just the layout that I decided to go with. And then to collect all the things from the roost that I made, there is the roost collector. And it can collect everything in a nine by nine area. And it's pretty straightforward, a chicken hopper chest. If they're all, if you got like 42 of these roosts or more, you could have twice that, almost twice that many then um, it can barely keep up if they're all 15, 15, 15. The other one is hatchery, and I'm going to use it for egg nests. And that's just hay bales again. So what? this is two different systems for handling chickens. Hatchery's method, instead of using the uh, chicken breeder, uses nesting pens. And if you stick two nesting pens side by side and put two different chickens in there, they can breed up like that. But they create an egg and in hatchery. And then you hatch the egg in the nesting pen. Whereas with the breeder, it just creates little icons like this inside the breeder. The disadvantage for the egg one is it takes eight minutes to hatch an egg. But we're going to have to use the egg method a little bit because for all the color ones, the only way I know of to get the color eggs is to actually make them. Where you take an egg and you put all the dyes around it. Remember the atomic reconstructor. And so I'm going to use a yellow chicken egg, a black chicken egg, and a red chicken egg. I'm going to make the green, but I'm never going to get to that thing today. 
Now I'm going to make all the colors eventually, but for today that's what I'm uh, dealing with. All right, and that's everything we're doing up here for right now. Let's go in. Now the other way to breed chickens is the vanilla way, or we'll call it the vanilla way, where you take two chickens, feed them both seeds, and then they mate and they have babies. Do it that way. And that we'll call the vanilla method. Okay, so I'm going to place these down. And notice I have uh, redstone lamps above them. I think it can be one above or two above, and there's a lever turning them on, and that makes them hatch a little faster. They're eight minutes when I do it this way. Okay, let's set up some of our breeders. These are the ones I'm going to be using to breed new types. Like that. And notice that they all each have seeds in them already. That's what this piping system is all about. I'll show you a little bit more about that in a sec, but I want to get started on my breeding. So the goal today is for a blaze rod chicken. To do that, you need gold and lava. To make gold, you need iron and yellow. To make iron, you need flint and bone. So we're going to put flint and bone in here. The second part to uh, blaze is gold and lava. To get lava, you need nether and coal. To get coal, you need log and flint. And we'll put that in there. Now, the only other one I can make until we hatch some of those color chickens, or that I want to make right now, is sand and flint. And that is for gunpowder. As to why I want gunpowder, I'm going to leave that up to your imagination. I've hinted about it on almost every episode. And uh, we'll see if you can figure it out. Well, no, you don't need to. You can wait till next episode and I'm going to show you. All right. So there, now there's a couple of different ways of dealing with it. That's all right. That one's already a 32. Oh, yeah, it's because it's got so many of them. This one, not so much. So what we can do for it is we can use the acceleration one and we can start right clicking it and see how it speeds it up. But we are, are using up this uh, one pretty damn quick. That's not refilling as fast as it should. Did I make a mistake out there? Hold on a sec. I think I might have made a mistake. Let me check something. Did I change it to redstone? Where's the thing for redstone? Redstone flux. I did change it to redstone flux. I don't know why it's taking a while. Oh, I know what I might not have done. Transfer limit. Let's take the transfer limit off of that. The transfer limit off of that. That might have been what I forgot. Okay. Now let's see if it goes any uh, faster. Yeah, that's working way better. Okay. You've been through once, a bone chicken. Now notice I have to pick the bone chicken up and put him in there. I got a better way to do that. Now, you guys came up with lots of good advice, and I came up with a couple of my own little inno innovations. And so let's cover off the first one here. I'm gonna put one on there, 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 there. Nothing's going through them yet, it's all turned off. And we're going to need our wrench. And we're going to stop it there, 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 and there. And we're going to take, I got a conduit probe from my, um, 
whatchamacallit, from loot bags. So we're going to come over here to this one. We're going to set it to insert and extract both on green, self feed. Okay, so self feed enabled, and then redstone mode always active. Then I'm going to take the conduit probe here, and I'm going to press shift and then roll the mouse wheel. Notice it changed color? It usually says something about changing mode, but it's not saying it. We want it to be that yellow color. Then I'm going to shift click on this and see it says copied conduit settings. Now I'm not going to hold shift this time. I'm just going to right click on that. Pasted conduit settings. Pasted conduit settings. And they're all set up. Let's go downstairs and do the others from underneath. So this is my first little innovation I came up with on my own that nobody told me about. I was just moving them over all the time and go, there's got to be a better way to do this. And this is the idea I came up with. There. They're all set up. Uh, and I don't need those anymore. So as you can see, the I guess it was was it this one? Yeah. Th as they have more, if, if they get a flint, the flint goes over. If they get a log, the log goes over, and they start doing their thing that way. All right. So what's this monstrosity? What's it doing there? Oh, notice that we've got seeds in this. This thing's full, 32 stacks. And all set up to feed seeds automatically into all these things along here. And notice, what's that strange thing? Why is it coming out of the wall like that? What's that? If you don't know these things, that's a, what's called a tunnel. A tunnel looks like this. And the recipe for a tunnel, you take one of the walls that we made before, you put redstone around it in a circle and a hopper on top, throw redstone in, and you get two tunnels. What you do with the tunnels is you slap them on any one block on a wall. You can only put one per wall, I think. Not even positive on that point. But you can only put a grand total of six of them on there. And no, notice it says down right now. If I right click, up. North, south, west. And it's going to pop off now because I'm already using east. And then it pops off once you go around. So you're deciding which side of the block you're in it's coming out of. So this one here is set to east, as you can see, and it's pulling from the east down and into here. Oh, and why did I use these cables? I started out with the silic cables and hated them. This was not something that I want to... Oh, hold it. We've got chickens running around. With these baby chicks, you got to really center them when you do it. Their hitbox is pretty small. Okay. So now that we've got some color chickens, what can, is there something I can do right away? Yeah, I can do black and a log. Black and a log. And that would give me string, which actually produces spider eyes. Another hint on what I'm up to. And in this one, we're going to use red and where's all the sand? I use both my sands. 
red and a sand. Red and sand get you redstone. Redstone and nether get you glass. Glass and gold get you diamond. And diamond and green get you emerald. So we're starting on that part of it here. And that's where the green comes in. We're never going to get to that today. How are we doing on these? We've already got one iron chicken. Cool. But we need it to go along with the other. So let's see if we can just hurry this part along here. With our acceleration wand. Why is it not filling up faster? I don't know what's... Oh, I know what might be wrong. I've got another idea. I wonder if we're not chunk loaded out here. E. Clam chunks. And then shift and chunk load them all. I wonder if that makes a difference. Okay, come back over here. This is the one we're waiting on, right? Yeah. Well, that seems to be going better. We had something pop. Oh, it got fed back in, whatever it was. Yeah, that's doing much better. See, it's barely going down, and I'm going really, really fast. Like every, uh, um, I don't know how many ticks, three ticks or something. People refer to it as the cheaty wand. Yeah, I guess I should slow down my uh, my key that does it a little bit, then I could just hold it and be done. Keep going. We did it again. We did it twice. Still need more. But as you can see, as we get more of them, it goes faster and faster and faster. There, we did a few of them there. And we got our coal chicken. All right. Now we could take those out or just let them go, see if they give us any extras. Uh, so coal, iron, and coal, right? No, iron and yellow. I could already head it going for the iron. That was dumb. Coal and nether. Yes, I should have already had the iron going. Damn it. I was thinking those two combined together. Okay, we'll let them... Uh, do their thing. Let's go over here and deal with this. This is going to take a, a little bit. Oh, I know what I haven't done. Plant you down there. Now for this next part, I'm going to need these and those. We're doing this differently now. So we're going to stick one of those down. See, it automatically gets its seeds. That's the nice thing about these. These things are so quick. Oh, I think I started talking about it and didn't finish off. I started out with the silic uh, ones and decided I didn't like them. The reason I didn't like them is twofold. One, they were too slow. And two, they each held a stack of seeds. For all the pipes that I've got here, that was like two 
drawers full, like 64 stacks of them were being held in the pipes. So I would never know when I was about to run out. And I didn't like that. Also, they were slow as hell. Um, because they, didn't, they don't pass stacks. They pass them one at a time, even though they're really, really fast if you're just doing one at a time of things. But if you're trying to do stacks, it's just uh -uh. And we'll put that on there. So why am I doing that? Why are these going out? The purpose for these ones is going to be to upgrade from 111 to 101010. Well, what's this 111, 10, 10, 10? What are we talking about? Well, there's basically three stats. The three stats are growth, gain, and strength. Growth is how fast they, uh, how long do they take? Uh, how fast do they breed? How fast do they produce? It's how long they take it, everything. Then when we're talking about the, uh, what was it, gain, that's how much they drop when they do produce something. If it's one, if it's a one, 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 they produce one. If it's a 10, 10, 10, they produce three. Actually, I think that's the number. I, I heard it from somebody else. I haven't tested that myself. Then the final one is strength, is how good they are at passing on their stats, how quickly the, uh, they're going to progress. So at first, when they're 1, 1, 1, they don't go up very quick. But once you start getting through it, they start going up really, really fast. And so this way, well, we could do it with the wand to get them up all the way. Even if we're using the wand, this is still saves us on some time when we're doing it. But mostly, a lot of them, I want them at 10, 10, 10, but I don't want to have to put any effort into it. So I just stick them in here and wait, and they'll eventually be 10, 10, 10. Last row. And I know I could do this while flying, but it's a pain to do that when you have to shift to click something because it goes all funky. And these flat transfer nodes made for sort of the neatest setup that I could fi find. Am I going to be able to get out? Yes, I am. And we don't really need the speed, so it's not a big issue. There we go. That looks like we got, yep, looks like we got them all done there. So what are we going to do with these? Well, for instance, we have some smart chickens. Let's put some smart chickens. Now, why do I want smart chickens? For the longest time, the way people would do it is they would take a 10, 10, 10 smart chicken, well, 16 of them, stick them in there, stick them in with their 1, 1, 1 chicken, and the result would give them a 9, 9, 9 in the chicken they were trying to breed up because the smart chickens can't breed with anything else. They're basically like a normal chicken um, they give e regular eggs, etc. But th since they can't breed with anything else, they would combine together and their growth, their stats, would be applied to the new one. It doesn't work like that anymore. If you're producing something new, like two, uh, two different breeds, and you produce something new, it's going to be a 1 1 1. If I put the, uh, so if I put a smart chicken in with a 1 1 1, the other, let's say, a, log to, a blaze rod chicken, 111, in with the, a 10, 10, 10 smart, it's still going to come out as a 111 blaze. 
if I put it in as a 555 blaze, it'll still come out as a 555 blaze because it's not going to gain any stats from the smart chicken. So why am I bothering to make smart chickens? What are they good for? Well, let's say I have one 111 and I want two. They can still use its stats to produce chickens quicker. They won't be any higher in level, but it's faster than trying to breed up another one from scratch. So that's why I want them. It's a minor reason, but still all the same, it's a reason. So where are we here? We've got yellow and iron working on their thing, and those two are working on their thing. So this, oh, no, we still have other things to do. Let's get the other things done. So, Roos and that guy. And, oh, and if I didn't make it clear, just to finish this part off. So these are in here. As something comes in here, it'll get shoved over here. And the next one will be like a 222 two, two, and 232. Two. And those two will combine together and they'll make a 444 four, four or something along those lines. That'll go, those will go into here. And it continues all the way up through this line until about the ninth one, it should be 10, 10, 10. I put 10 in just in case. At least that's the way it worked out in my test. For these guys, these roosts, whoops, I'm lagging a little bit. Why am I lagging? I shouldn't be. It says my uh, FPS is good. All right, let's uh, do the rest with the wand. Why? Why does it do that? I guess if I'm on a little bit of an angle, that's what causes it. There we go. Now, I could have done this very differently, not put that end row in, and then had another section coming along here and here and along there. So basically twice as many of these things. But I don't know that I need that many uh, chicken things. Oh. Hey, little green guy. Welcome to being an icon. All right. And so then we put the chickens in that we want to produce stuff like blaze rods or whatever it is they're producing and then it all gets sucked into here and once i have some blaze rods i will have this send them to like an ender chest and then out to my drawer system outside or something or i can put in another tunnel and uh, feed it out to to it that way either way you're at a 90 you're at a 64 Actually, I expect you to go faster, so I'm going to help you. Okay, let's take a look. It popped a couple of times, I think. No. Well, some of the others popped. Well, we got more coal chickens. We got more iron chickens. Okay, let's go at that some more. Whoops. Popped. Let's do it some more. So we look every time, it feels like a waste of time. Oops. No, still nothing. A 
But as you can see, as we get more and more in there, it goes uh, reasonably fast. All right, we just pop twice, three times. Still nada. Come on, come on. How are you doing? You've got nine chickens in you. You've got 11 chickens. And I don't know um, how the split affects it. Like if I have 16 in one slot and one in the other, is that the same as having like uh, eight in one and nine in the other? Is that the right numbers? I don't know. I don't know that it really matters, though. Sorry, I don't know that it matters that I know the answer to that. Okay, 14 there, 11 here. I do have the right ones, right? Yellow and iron. Yellow and iron is gold. Nether and coal is lava. Yep, I got the right things. What keeps popping off here? We do have another iron. Oh, we're full on flints. <laughs> What's going on down here? Oh, we got a redstone chicken. Well, redstone goes with nether. I'm using my nethers up here, though. Well, we can give it one of them. Whoops, I shouldn't have done it. Uh, I shouldn't have taken them all out, just some of them. Okay, redstone and a nether. And yeah, we've got our gunpowder. We can let it go some more, unless there's, nah, there's nothing in there I need. Oh, where was all the extra flints? Okay, so back to this guy here. I know this isn't the most exciting. But uh, you see how it's an advantage that I'm feeding the things back into it. So I had my two innovations. One was the ender oil pipes, the way I'm using them. And the other was my little chain of doing these. 16, 13. But they really don't want to breed me something new. They're fighting me pretty hard on this. We got our lava! Okay. How are we doing over here? You're next. And lava and gold to make our uh, blaze. Well, we got two golds. All right. And our lava. And we'll put them over here, put in our gold and our lava, and we'll let it do its thing. I'll let it do its thing for a little while. We'll go out and do a couple of other things and then come back for this guy. And so, let's start off with, we're going to make ourselves some armor. We're going to use obsidian and a chisel. Why that way? Well, look, if we make chest armor with obsidian like this, notice it's one and four. That's not really impressive. Uh, I'm not impressed with that at all. And there is no way in this crafting table or a vanilla crafting table of switching which version it is. 
But there is a way. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our chisel. We're going to stick them in there. We're going to make some chiseled ones. We'll make pillars. Doesn't matter which one it is. Just as long as it's not the regular one. And then we're going to take this. Now notice that three armor toughness and eight armor. That's like one better than diamond. And then we got the boots that are three and three. And then we'll go like this and like this. And three and six and three and three. So let's see, what am I wearing right now? This is three and two. So we are better all the way across, like the chest piece, two and eight. So it's just slightly better than uh, that. And it looks like I get permanent resistance, whatever resistance means, if I use all of them. Yeah, let me know in the comments. I haven't tried to research it at all. What does the resistance mean? Resistance to what? All right. Magna cream. So I've been getting slime balls from the loot bags. We're going to take those and we're going to make three magma blocks. Take our three magma blocks, put them in here, and that gives us a magma anvil. Repair anything using lava. Okay, and this is from Silic. This is from Quantum Storage. This is a quantum tank. It's uh, obsidian, iron, and a bucket. Cheap as hell. Holds two million buckets. Puts all the drum, regular drums and tanks to shame. And it's really, really cheap. So let's call this an OP tank. All right. Come over here to our smeltery area. I'm going to go over there and, oh, I need something for my uh, liquid transfer node. And we're going to put down our liquid transfer node there and put our tank here. So now it's going to empty in there. This thing's going to continuously refill it and we'll go for like that. And we're going to put down another liquid transfer node there and put this down here. Now, this thing's a little bit uh, buggy on the displays. Notice how it doesn't look quite right. We'll look at it from that angle. And in here, it's not showing any fluid in the tank. There's fluid in the tank. It won't show it until it's full. And it needs 10 buckets, and there was only four sitting in that crucible. So it's only about half full at this point. But let's take a look at uh, some of our uh, stuff. What's got the most damage here? That's got like eight. That's got like one. So this is going to be repaired almost instantly. Boom. There. Fully repaired. Boom. Fully repaired. And that's all it takes for repairs. And we, we're producing plenty of lava, so that's not an issue here. Um, I did set this, I apologize for setting this up off screen. I just, I've set these things up so many times. Why is there no lever on this one? What happened to the lever? I didn't take it off. Oh, well, I'm going to have to put a lever on there later and deal with that. But uh, it doesn't really matter. I'm not putting anything in the tank right now. I did make another quantum tank. This one has aluminum brass in it. And it's got, uh, what, nine buckets of it left in there. And that's how I've been making all my molds, is I just put a tank there. It's got, oh, it's got the a transfer node. So anytime aluminum brass gets made in here, it automatically gets put in the tank. So long as the tank doesn't run out completely out of aluminum brass, uh, nothing else can go in there. And then I'm using it to make all my things like this. Notice that my... 
I've got Supremium on my rapier for my blade, Supremium on my pickaxe, Supremium on my mattock. Now I haven't done the rest of the things to this. It's still, the rest is garbage, like wood and stone and stuff. So I'm gonna have to think a little bit about what I wanna do with these. But Supremium was just, like take a look at it, went up to 9.27 um, from like two was what it was before with Flint. This thing's up to uh, a mining speed of 22 from whatever it was, was that was terrible. This is a mining speed of 21. So way better stats on it. The attack 17 on the... Oh yeah, but this thing's really fast. That's why. <laughs> it just seems so off, right? Attack a 17 on that and nine on that. Oh well. Okay, so that's it for uh, the stuff in here today. And, oh, right, we were going to go back in here. See how we're doing on this one. Well, we will go at this again. Try and get our blaze. Well, I know what I could do. It's one last thing that I keep forgetting about all the time. So let's clear my inventory up a little bit. Get all the stuff out of here that doesn't need to be in here. Gonna keep the chickens in there. No, we don't even need to keep the chickens in there. Okay. Oh, and I don't know if I had that last time. The big uh, pouch recipes for that is just some leather, some string, and some of those. I got sick of using, where is it, in, in here? I got sick of using this because every time I used it, I would hear, and that was driving me nuts. Actually, I don't even know how loud that is for you because it seems I, I can't seem to turn my game sounds up higher for you. They're really loud for me, but it doesn't mean that you hear them well. And I'm not sure what to do about it. The only thing I could think of would be to turn down my voice so you turn up the volume and then the game sounds would sound lo louder to you. But that's uh, I think that would create more problems than it's solved. So let's... Uh Take a look at some things here that I have completed so we can come claim some stuff here. And I think I got one more in there and storage, yeah, the quantum tank. Okay, that's a few of them anyways. How are you doing? Let's just give it uh, another t time with the acceleration one. Like most other people, when they go to use this thing, they can't click as fast as I'm clicking. That's why mine keeps running out. I'm clicking it really, really quick. Wither resistance. Huh. And you can put it on armor. Interesting. I wonder if it takes a uh, uh, an enchant slot or not. Well, all good stuff, but nothing that I'm uh, overly excited about yet. Invar hammers. <laughs> Those Invar hammers love me. I, I'm never going to use the flask of Magnus skin. Just never going to happen. 
Lithium dust. Chance cubes. Not going to use them either. Nature cores. Okay, that's mildly interesting. Why are nature cores mildly interesting? Well, actually, probably more than mildly interesting. Th those are good. And I would have liked to get them a little while ago. I'm not as worried about them now. But if you put one of those down in a grassy area, the um, number of animals that are going to show up will dramatically increase. They will increase at a much more rapid rate. And if you put crops around them, it, this thing causes like a bone meal effect to everything around it. So your crops will grow much faster. So if it, you're not using cloches, if you're using uh, some other uh, garden method, surrounded in these things, and it's off to the races. So those, and the only way to get these, you can't craft them. You can only get them out of these uh, treasure chests. So that's one of the best, uh, well, I shouldn't say that, one of the really good ones. The best would be something like uh, that sword that does like, you know, 999 damage and massive looting and loss of beheading and all the rest. Just a totally OP sword that you can get out of these. So there's things like that that are in these uh, chests as well. But the nature core is a fairly common drop. I just hadn't got it yet. All right. So let's go back to this. Actually, we should look. Nope. There's only two of the guys in there. Popped off one more. What do we got in here? We got another lava that we can put in there. What was it? Lava and gold? Yeah. We got another gold. More coals. Who was coal? You were coal. More iron. Where were the irons? There. Okay. As you can see, it's going quicker now that we've got more uh, birds in there. All right, well, I was go hoping to show you the blaze as I get it, but basically once I get the blaze, and there's no reason for me to keep making you wait and watch. Well, we'll do one more time. Let's see if we can get lucky this time and get a blaze, because we're almost there. No such luck. Oops, I can't put them back in there, right? Because I basically go stick the blaze over here and have them start leveling up like that. Have you guys done your thing yet? I see all three of them have been uh, the same. So it's got to get one different one to go up. Well, let's just, there, we'll give you a, a boost. We had one pop. And that's our blaze rod chicken. Actually, we need two of them. So, yeah, I still have to do it some more. But that's how you get a blaze rod chicken anyways. And I'm not going to make you wait for another one of them. Well, 
eventually once these guys get all the way up to 16 16 16 then i'll put a smart chicken in with something like the blaze and get a second one that way actually this is probably going to be quick to get another one because we've got so many of them now come on I'm walking around with those things on my bar, and I don't like that at all. I don't want to accidentally place one of those sometime. One more time through, then I'm going to call it an episode. Oh, the hell with it. I'm calling it an episode. Oh, we got two. What do you know? Okay, so we come over here. We take our two. We put them in there, and off to the races they go. So I'm going to have blaze rods uh, next episode, and I'm going to be doing stuff with them. Well, I hope you uh, learned something new. I had at least two new innovations, the, this one here for running them down like that, and those Ender I.O. conduits. And uh, I hope you found it useful. Go out there and have some fun. Thanks.